One of the uh, main issues that leaders face, especially uh, at universities, but also thought leaders in the society, is uh, this uh, uh, opulence of information that they are faced with and the apparent, um, uh, or at least subjectively felt by the leaders, subjective, subjectively felt need to respond to current events. So uh, many thought leaders, people who could otherwise be successful thought leaders, uh, become analysts because they can't resist this urge to respond to current events, to interpret current events. And this is a trap for thought leaders because what uh, intellectuals really should do is set the agenda. They should discuss important themes which they believe are crucial at uh, particular points in the society's development or in the life of their community rather than being served up uh, uh, leads and uh, events uh, that are many times designed uh, to distract attention from more important, deeper, more structural themes and issues. So one of the uh, tasks uh, for university leaders is to make sure that universities and university leadership do not respond to current events, but set the agenda. They should set the agenda for their societies and for their universities and for their staff and for their students uh, by identifying those key con concepts and key challenges that their communities are facing and by opening theoretical discussions about important life subjects such as issues of attention, issues of focus, issues of scholarship as opposed to uh, uh, adeptness at serving the market, issues of uh, uh, nurturing the fundamentals in the university, issues of creating as broad a base for this pyramid of learning as possible so that the pyramid can, can be built higher. Uh, uh, this is the autonomy. This is the concept of university autonomy and intellectual autonomy. The autonomy from, from uh, uh, various uh, kinds of uh, intellectual and media bait uh, that are there to distract the attention from uh, the agenda-setting mission of uh, thought leaders.